welcome to the episode 2 of 7 days challenge a challenge created by Mr Arif Sayed the CEO and founder of AAC Ventures in this challenge i have picked up an untitled unplanned business still in the idea stage will be building an mvp and aiming at generating revenue by the end of 7 days my name is Samreen Sheikh and i am the lead startup booster at AAC Ventures and i will be taking up Mr Arif's challenge don't forget to check out our previous episode of 7 day challenge. Coming up next on the 7 days challenge. I think it's a nice piece of art but as a logo. Right now I don't know. I don't know what exactly I'll get on to because yeah, it's a 24 hour brief and that's what This is done wrong in so many ways because see um to be honest like let's get in touch with reality. Mm -hmm. That would be fairly impossible. It's the second day and I'll be starting off by meeting with Praneet and the team to approve the logo design. I can't wait to see what they have come up with in just 24 hours. This is uh, this is basically uh, the first option that we had sketched out hmm. with regard to having a nice muscular superhero kind of being over there and uh, the super being in the comic font, more like the DC Marvel space. I think it's a nice piece of art, but as a logo, Okay, all right. We'll get back to that. There are a couple of other options that we were looking at. One was, uh, like you said, we'll have super coach within the same uh, within the same frame, so that we don't have to break it out into two. And finally, trying to be as neat as possible. That was third point in your brief. Uh, this is still not something that I was looking for. Okay. Especially, yeah, I don't want uh, something that is very comic or something that's an art or... No, but, the, but that's that. that's the brief changing by the go. So, uh, I really need to know what exactly are you looking at because well, this is what we had agreed on yesterday, so... The, the kind of samples that I requested you yesterday uh, yeah. are mostly what I'm looking for. No, something but that is very... this is exactly what we are we had spoken about. I, I know, I know. The, this yes, we spoke about it uh, as the first option, yeah. yeah. And then the, there was second option in mm -hmm. which we uh, spoke about uh, more um, crisp and more uh, elegant looking with fine lines and. Right now, I don't know. I don't know what exactly I am getting on to because yeah, it's a twenty-four hour brief and. That's what well, well, we spoke okay, about. Praneet, I understand that you've got a very, uh, you've got very less time to work on this, but uh, I really think um, uh, we have That's the resources. We have the resources to to uh, do better. Yeah. Sure. Well, the meeting was quite disheartening, but I understand it's part of design. There's always bouncing off ideas back and forth. I guess it's back to the drawing board for me, and uh, I guess another long night as well. But I'm sure the next set of samples will be really spot on. Given the discussion that we had the last time, I was not happy with what I had to see, especially because I specifically told them that I wanted something that was not very superhero related and it would be uh, comparatively simple so that it complements the name itself. But whatever that they had to show was not something that I was expecting. This has seriously put a dent to the schedule. I hope we have something with us by the end of today or latest by tomorrow so that we can get going with the rest of the things. Moving on, I'm meeting with Mr. Sakib who will help me gather trainers for Supercoach and help achieve a higher success rate. I'll be explaining him that we will be charging the trainers 20% on each customer with a post payment cycle at the end of every month. Let's see how Mr. Sakib can help us. We will be receiving the payment uh, uh, beforehand from the You customer. will be receiving the payment on behalf of the coaches yes, themselves, yes, all right? Yes. Our accounts team will be going and uh, uh, will be taking care of the collection of money beforehand from the customer, but we will pay only at the end of the period. The reason being that uh, in case the, the trainer does not show up or anything of that sort, so we need to um, make adjustments make sure, yeah, make sure based that on that, their absence. Yeah. Fair enough. So what we'll do is that as a start, uh, I mean, we have a few leads to begin with anyways, right? I personally know a few that I'm actually going to approach to make it, uh, you know, at least objective oriented. You know, right from the start when you say that your target is let's say five uh, coaches to begin with. So I think that's a fairly easy task. Uh, fairly, fairly easy task. I think we'd be able to achieve it. But one thing that I actually 
want to highlight here, which is going to make a lot of difference. We have been seeing a lot of fitness coaches who are focusing on, on, the, on the muscle type. They are uh, focusing on yoga, pilates, they're looking for, uh, you know, these, these heavy routines, um, circuit training and all. But the only thing which I have not been able to come across, and I only came across one structure that was offering, that was simple exercises for flexibility. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now, we're not focusing on yoga or swimming or anything of that sort. We're only focusing on this bodybuilding kind of a, um, a regime. Right? No, no, that's and fine. But what I'm saying is that each coach, see, this should be, uh, how, should, how should I put it? It should be agnostic completely as far as the abilities of each trainer is concerned. Because the more trainers you have, which are actually offering you a diverse uh, set of exercises, obviously you're going to have more traction. Right. So you do not want to have the old adage whereby there's a fitness trainer, he's only going to focus on muscle building, which has been, right? People are now more prone to have less muscles and more flexibility, and they focus more on longevity. So when do you think we will be able to have people on board? See, if you're, tar if you're telling me that we should be targeting five at least, mm -hmm. is that a target for the seven day period? Well, uh, yeah, if, if there are more coming in, then I would definitely... No, no, what I'm saying is that the base is five, but right? Yeah, the base is five. I had a great meeting with Mr. Sakib, especially because he's the go-to person to get the stuff done. And uh, I set him a target, which is very appropriate, considering the amount of time that we have. And um, also, I had this in mind that if we have customers coming in today or tomorrow or day after, then we have enough number of coaches to cater to them. After starting with the wrong foot today, I finally feel that I'm getting on the right track. The next step is to meet Mr. Nadir, the Vice President of Operations at ASA. He will help us set up a colleagues account that will enable us to have 24-7 customer support and receive instant notifications for every call. Now, Mr. John, this is your dashboard, okay? Okay. So here, this is your landline number, okay? <coughs> okay. Here, you are in the fragile. Here, it's your dashboard. Your dashboard here, it's mentioned that you can, you can also know the inbound calls that you receive today okay here inbound lifetime okay it's like a calendar pending urgent if we are if you receive if as colleagues if we receive like any urgent notification so you can check check it here in your in the, your dashboard here the questions so here it's zero because you should fill all the questions and the answers here in dashboard aha okay? yes yeah. so i type in basically all, all the information Yes. So, so the, the all call the operators can answer. Them. Sure. Yes. Okay, Whatever your uh, questions and answers are perfect, so it will be easy for our customer service also to re reply to the card to the caller. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. So, so my phone will ring whenever they are having a phone call. Whenever, with my whenever you receive the call here, in colleagues. So, you will receive also a notification inform, informing you that you receive a call. So you can you can check in your mobile application that what's 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 wrong, what's happening in this call. After that you can you can do your action. Yeah, I love the fact that I can listen to a call specifically uh, so maybe if, even if they didn't understand something I will know exactly sure, what it yes, is. It's, you know? it's like this. So Great. you are the better you know be, you know you know better than us. Okay, so the thing is, maybe some 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 agent or some receptionist, they will not take it really seriously. Okay, but you as an owner or as a partner, if you will hear the call, at least you know what the caller needs. It's yes, it's better than you let someone take care for you. Right. And, yeah. and with this uh, now, Supercoach is 24/7. I really like this. I didn't expect this kind of service uh, you know in my industry when I was on a session and I can't pick up the call you know I know from experience this is a lost client immediately so this will definitely be a game changer that I can monitor at any time you know and listen to any call that the uh, client made so I know to get back to them immediately with the right with the right response. My final task for today is to meet with Leah, the head of corporate communications. She will help me to give exposure to the seven day challenge.
What exactly are we pushing? Is it the startup itself or is it the program? Uh, the which program, is a, which yes, is the, the program. So challenge. yeah, so the seven day challenge is a part of Rev Up. Okay, uh, and uh, with, in Rev Up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be um, choosing a project, and for three months we're gonna be providing all of these services and having them generate profit mm -hmm. towards the end of three months. That will be the whole um, idea about it. So. Um, yeah, so if we can do stuff wherein we are reaching out to a lot of uh, people mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think it's a very exciting them, uh, thing for them also to see that in seven days. To be honest, like let's get in touch with reality. Mm -hmm. If we are going to approach some media outlets saying that we're doing the seven day challenge and if it's actually, if PR is part of that seven day mm -hmm. challenge as in us putting out something within seven days that would be fairly impossible because whenever we reach out to media outlets they always still have to take into consideration what they have in their editorial calendar mm -hmm. these days um, a lot of stuff's been happening a lot of exhibitions a lot of events are happening that are like more on the local scale and also the international scale like for example there's things happening in Dubai World Trade that um, are sponsored by the government, which means all the journalists will be running to, mm -hmm. to get that uh, that news. So there's not a lot of, honestly, there will not be a lot of media outlets that will be picking, it, picking this up. However, what I can do is, um, we can tell them, like once we release the whole entire series, that this is, um, this is what we did within seven days mm -hmm. and if you want to see what happened whether we can or cannot like push a startup to success in seven days then that's something that they can definitely pick up on um, once we have the, the press release done and the trailer done that that should accompany that whole package then we'll just send it out so uh, I, it'll pick up pretty fast especially if it's an interesting story there are so many media outlets that are concentrating on stories about startups and if this is if, if, if making a startup successful in seven days is an interesting news, then I don't know what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And that's it for day two. It didn't go as planned, but we managed to get a lot of work done. There's a lot more to come in the next few days. Make sure you don't miss the next episode of the 7 Days Challenge. <laughs>